The overall goal of this procedure is to record light stimulus evoked calcium signals from cone photoreceptors in the mouse retina using a fluorescent biosensor. This is accomplished by isolating the retina from a transgenic mouse line that expresses genetically encoded calcium sensor exclusively in the cone photoreceptors. The second step is to cut vertical slices of the retinal tissue. Next, the retinal slices are mounted on the cover slips and placed under a two-photon microscope. The final step is to record calcium signals from the individual synaptic terminals of cone photoreceptors in response to light stimulation. Ultimately, the recorded calcium signals are analyzed offline. With this method, we can record the activity of many cone photoreceptors simultaneously at subcellular resolution. This is the main advantage over existing techniques, such as electrical single cell recordings, which are more difficult and time consuming. So the question that we would like to address is if and how calcium is involved in photoreceptor degeneration. This method allows us to determine if calcium influx is driving photoreceptor degeneration or if it is a result of the fact that the cell is dying. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle, mainly because retina's light sensitivity needs to be preserved and therefore all the delicate steps including retinal dissection and slice preparation have to be carried out under dim red light. 